So today we're working on an 820-3115 MacBook board for an A1278 MacBook Pro, which is kind of old. This is an old pile of junk. This has the 1280 by 800 display or 1280 by 87 something, whatever. It has this hard drive cable that fails constantly. It's shipped with a 5400 RPM, 500 gigabyte drive, which is slow as hell, and a dual core Ivy Bridge processor. Apple started making this machine in 2012, and it shipped all the way until 2016 with no refresh because Apple. So. What we're going to do today is try and see if we get a green light on the MacBook. So I'm going to plug it into the power supply. And as can be seen here, there is no green light on MacBook. How is it that this is going to know to turn the charger green light on? Well, that's a great question. So this over here is where the charging port plugs in on the board. So if, I, if you look over here, you'll see the charging port is right on the upper left corner or left on the upper right corner, depending on <laughs> how you feel like phrasing it. So if we go up here, you'll see J6900. And we look for that on the schematic, and it brings us to here. And we've got three lines. We have 18 volts, the charger power, ground, which is required to complete a circuit, and adapter sense. Adapter sense is going to be responsible for sensing the adapter, for telling whether or not this is plugged in and has a green light. So let's see where adapter sense goes. So if we follow adapter sense, it goes to this chip over here, U6900. And it's got int and ext, int and ext. Now, ext attaches to the charger, which is outside the machine, and int attaches to sys1 wire, and sys1 wire is a line that goes to a chip called the system management control, the SMC here, which is inside the machine. So SMC is system management controller. So what this thing over here does is U6900 that we were just looking at allows the charger to speak to the system management controller. So int is internal and ext is external. Most of what you do here is kind of guessing. Now, that's going to turn on if it gets voltage at the VCC pin. Typically, if you see VCC, VDD, VIN, that's always going to be the voltage required to power the chip. And it's on the top in the drawing. So here, over here, VIN, voltage in, that's going to be what powers the chip. Over here, you have VCC. This is the voltage that's going to power the chip. If I was talking about my camera and I wanted to sh put the voltage into my camera to turn it on, I got my little DC plug over here and this little pin over here, this would be the VCC or the VDD or the VN pin. Now, going back to this, where is the power for this going to work that's going to allow the charger to talk to the SMC? That comes from this chip. Now, this chip is going to send out 3.42 volts on Y, assuming that SMC, BC, AC, OK is present on A and B and that PP3V42 is present. So the first power rail that we need for anything on this board to work is PP3V42. So the first thing that I check when I don't have a green light is PP3V42. And we're going to check for where I would expect PP3V42 to be. Now, it says that I can find PP3V42 over here. So let's see what voltage I get on PP3V42. I get zero volts. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is kind of try and figure out how that circuit works. So let's see where PP3V42 is created. And it appears that U6990 is responsible for the creation of PP3V42. So what this does is it takes the input from either the charger, 18 volts DC in, or the battery, PP bus G3 hot, and it goes to the input of this chip, which is then going to send out 3.42 volts. So this chip is going to be responsible for taking the 18 or 12 volts from the charger or the battery and turning into 3.42 volts for the system power supply. We also have a chip. Uh, pin called EN. EN is going to stand for enable. And if you don't know what any of these pins do, you could always just Google the name of the chip, PM6640, and get a nice description of it. By the way, if you need a PM6640, look no further than store.rossmangroup.com. Now, we are going to check and see if we have the input here. So I'm going to look on, so we have a little resistor right under here, R6995. Pin 1 of R6995 is attached to voltage in on the chip. So let's see what we get there. Let's see if we have input power. Let's see if anything's coming in from the charger at all. And it looks like we do get 18 volts in. So that's working. Now I want to see what I'm getting on the enable pin of that chip. What am I getting on enable? So let's see. Where do we find U6990? Huh. U6990 is going to be on the other side of the board. And it's going to be right over here. So over here. So can anybody tell me what they think might be wrong. What's going on here? Well, corrosion. You are correct. So let's see what we get on the enable circuit over here. So enable is going to be pin 4. Remember? Pin 4. 
So I'm, you could see that right here. Pin four of U6990, EN, enable. And that's going to be pin four. So what do we get on pin four? Hmm, huh. 0.4 volts. But on pin 7, Eighteen volts. Yeah, so something's going on there. There's going to be some corrosion there. Now, it looks like I will need a new PM6640. So the question at this point becomes, if I need a new PM6640, where could I possibly find a new PM6640? Because that, that, that's going to be really hard. Like, you know, it's not like Apple's going to sell me a PM6640. Well, check no further than store.rossmangroup.com. With same-day shipping from New York City, free shipping in the continental United States, over $30, and over 1,249 five-star ratings on Chopper approved, you can't lose. Just simply type in PM6640, and it'll immediately auto-complete and find you a chip. After that, it'll tell you exactly which boards it's compatible with, and you'll even get quantity discounts. Right here, it says compatible boards. So if I need to know if it's compatible with an 820-3115, I don't need to delay. I can simply read today. You can't read the text. You can simply zoom in and see. It'll even tell you that what the thing does, and it'll give you a nice picture that you can match up to your model board. Don't delay. Buy today, because Lewis needs to make up for buying lots of shares of AGRX. Now, we're going to replace this little chip with a new one from store.rossmangroup.com. So I'm going to not delay and immediately run up to the front of the store and get a chip today. All right, we're going to remove the old chip and put a new one in. And let's just use some Flux. By the way, if you need Flux, you can buy Flux on store.rossmangroup.com. NC559V2TF. So I'm going to be using this quick 861DW over here, which, by the way, is at a new everyday low price of $267.99 on sale for a limited time. Don't delay. Head over to store.rossmangroup.com and buy a quick 861DW while it's on sale today. Shilling is what we do here at store.rossmangroup.com. You'll even save $2 off of the price on tea equipment for a limited time only. Two sixty-seven ninety-nine. dollars Every day low price for a limited time. Well, every limited day low price. <laughs> every day until the price is no longer limited. Plus, my shipping person's looking to move away, so he, he, needs, he needs some money. So buy a quick and help my shipping guy move, find an apartment in, the, in New York City. All right, let's get this chip off of the board. And here you go. So now you can see. By the way, this gentleman over here, he does the shipping. So, and no, notice that he's no longer wearing ear pods. Air pods. What are they called? whatever the kids call them these days. You're helping support him by buying from store.rossmangroup.com. Don't delay. If you, if you buy from somebody else's store, he will go back to wearing AirPods. You don't want that, right? Nobody wants that. So now I was able to get voltage over here on pin 7, but not on pin 4. And you can tell that's because the pin itself is entirely corroded. So we're going to scrape a little bit using these tweezers that I affiliate link on store.rossmangroup.com. Oh, I'm going to get that pad back. I'm going to get that pad back and then some. I'm going to get that pad back and then some. Just you watch. All right. So who says I wasn't going to get this pad back? Oh! What's that, mofo? Is that connected to anything? It's probably not connected to anything. Okay, maybe it is connected to something. Thank you, says Damon. Well, thank you, too. Does Rossman Group ship to EU? We do, for a very limited time. I'm actually considering getting rid of international shipments without, for the, with post office because they lose everything. Ah, oh, both, both pads are destroyed. All right, you're right. I'm running some wires here. Damn it. Intern's bad karma got me. Karma. This is the fault of intern. I'll sell you the power AirPods. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll give it a go. Let's guess. It doesn't work. It's, it's not like this belongs to me anyway. Yeah. Can't wait. Shit, I'm streaming. <laughs> oh well. That's the, thing, like, that's the beauty of live. Yeah, that, that's what we do with Linus's iMac. You know? That was a great machine to learn how to fix an iMac on. I f it up, that's his 4,000 bucks down the drain. What? Yeah, it's Linus seemed very scared of me, like, breaking it. When are Jessa back in stock? I need Wick. We'll have Wick soon. Don't delay by today, indeed. All right, so I'm going to tin these little traces, and that'll allow me to put wires there. Which? Oh, uh, yeah, I should. Should I wick with a micro pencil? Now you're really trolling me. It's actually hard to break. How did Alex break this micro pencil? Yeah, it's not hard. Look at that. Damn. Look at that. All right. It's not even hard to break. You said it's not hard to break. You mean it's not easy to break? Okay, we got one wire. And second wire. These tweezers can't grab anything anymore. What? I have to borrow said bike. Why? Because I have to get a bunch of iPhone screens. From where? Western Union guy. We're going to add some flux and solder this chip on. We got our jumpers. I'm going to preheat the board from far away for a little bit.
Stop that, you little bastard ship. All right. Now I'm going to push down. Ah! All right. Needs a little bit more solder on the bottom pads. That's fine. So we got the micro pencil for. Now we could do a little bit better at getting that to be even. That's not exactly my strong point here, making something go on straight, but we'll try. And now instead of being too much to the left, it's too much to the right. Okay. I'm sure that's probably fine. So, cool it off a little bit. MacBook. Charger, light, fan spin. So this wasn't working previously because when we look at the schematic in the board view, this section was corroded. Pins four and three were entirely corroded away and pins four and three are for pin four, enable, which tells the chip to work, and pin three, TON, which stands for time on. Now, remember, this chip can turn either the charger voltage, which is 18 volts, or the battery voltage, which is 12.6 volts, into 3.42 volts. So this is a switching power supply. Now, if we're taking slices of 18 volts and trying to turn that into 3, we need less slices. If we're taking 12 volts and trying to turn that into 3, we need more slices in order to average it out. So with the reason that TON is there is how long should this stay on for? So it's going to send pulses of either 18 or 12 volts out to the inductor, and that's going to get smoothed out to 3.42 volts. So the amount of pulses that are going to be required to get to 3.42 volts are going to be different based on the input voltage. In order to allow this chip to be able to work with so many different ranges of input voltages, it needs to know what the input vo voltage is on that pin, which is what the TON time on pin is for. And now it works, and we have fan spin, which, as anybody who's watched the channel for a while knows, is really the most important thing of them all. And we couldn't have done this without the help of our chips at store.rossmangroup.com. So don't delay. Buy today. Brand new pricing on Quicks as low as $267.99. I got a nice good deal from Quick. I got the prices lowered from what I used to pay for them, so I'm able to pass these savings off to you. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.